Lesson 2-7, Asymptotes of Rational Functions. A rational function is a function that's written as a fraction with x in the denominator. Kind of like that. Notice x is in the denominator. To find the domain of a rational function, the denominator cannot be equal to zero, so we make it not equal to zero and solve for x. So to find the domain of this one, I take my denominator, 3x minus 4, make it not equal to zero, and solve for x. Add 4 and divide by 3. So my domain is x doesn't equal 4 thirds, which we could write in interval notation is negative infinity to 4 thirds combined with 4 thirds through positive infinity. Asymptotes are equations that describe the behavior of the graph at the edges. So the dotted lines here, blue dotted lines, are asymptotes. So at the edges of the graph in the horizontal my graph is going to become similar to the line y equals zero. And down here at the bottom, my graph will become similar to the line x equals zero. To find the vertical asymptotes, you need to factor your function and reduce. You set your denominator equal to zero and then solve for x. So you factor first, reduce, and then whatever's left, the denominator equal to zero and solving for x. Horizontal asymptotes happens at either end of, this, of the graph, either left or the right. So you could just plug in a large number for x and simplify. Or there's a shortcut. You can find the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. So the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote will be y equals zero. That's like if you have a hundred thousand over a hundred thousand squared plus one. So this is like x over x plus x squared plus one. So that's like a hundred thousand over that. And so you could cancel and it's one over a hundred thousand, which is approximately zero. If the degrees are the same, like X over X plus one, you'd have a hundred thousand over a hundred thousand plus one, which is approximately a hundred thousand over a hundred thousand reduces to 1, which is my leading coefficients, 1 over 1. If the degree of the numerator is higher, that'd be like 100,000 squared over 100,000 plus 1, which would give you that over 100,000, which you could cancel and reduce, but you still have 100,000 on top. It's a large number. It's no horizontal asymptote. So if n is less than d, y equals zero. n equals d, which so y equals leading coefficient. If the numerator is greater than the denominator, it's no horizontal asymptote. So let's find the asymptotes of this function. Well, first thing you're supposed to do is factor. The bottom is a difference of squares. but nothing reduces. So let's start with our vertical asymptotes. You take that denominator, I'll use the factored form, equal to zero. Since it's factored, I can take each of those equal to zero and I get x equals one and x equals negative one. The asymptotes are equations of lines, so it is the x equals 1 and x equals negative 1. It's not just 1 and negative 1. They're the actual equations. 
For our horizontal asymptote, the degree of the numerator is 2. The degree of the denominator is 2. So n equals d. So does y equals the leading coefficients. Leading coefficients are 5 over 1, so it's y equals 5. And again, it's an equation of a line, so it is y equals 5, not just the number 5. All right, for this function, let's find the domain, the removable discontinuity, which on a graph is a little hole in the graph. And we're going to find the asymptotes. So to find the domain, you take the denominator and you make it equal to 0 or not equal to 0. Let's try factoring. Uh, so it could be a negative 1 and a positive 1. And we check, we have 2x and a negative x, which in fact equals 1x, the middle, that works. Take each factor, not equal to 0. So I get x doesn't equal 1 half, and I get x doesn't equal negative 1. So our domain, x doesn't equal negative 1 and 1 half. For the removable discontinuity, we're going to take our function, we're going to factor. On the top, we can factor our x out of the top. Out of the bottom, we can just factor that. We already did in part a. Then notice the 2x minus 1 cancel out. When you cancel a factor like that, that gives you the removable discontinuity. So my removable discontinuity is the 2x minus 1. I'll make that equal to 0. And solve. So my removable discontinuity occurs when x is a half. Now the asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes. So we had to take, and we're supposed to factor and cancel. And so we're going to take whatever is left. So What's left was x on top and x plus 1 on the bottom because the 2x minus 1 canceled out. And then we take the denominator and make it equal to 0. So my vertical asymptote is x equals negative 1. I'd like to point out that this vertical asymptote and the removable discontinuity give you the values that are not part of the domain. Horizontal asymptote, the degree of the numerator is 2. The degree of the denominator is 2. So n equals d. So that means it's y equals the leading coefficients. Which in this case is 2 over 2. So our horizontal asymptote is y equals 1. There is also something called a slant asymptote. And it occurs if the degree of the numerator is one more than the degree of the denominator. And how you find it is you just divide the numerator and the denominator and ignore the remainder. Might have to do long division or synthetic division. And a rational function will either have a horizontal asymptote or a slant asymptote, it will not have both because be the slant, the n is greater than d. And when n is greater than d, there is no horizontal asymptote. Let's find all the asymptotes of this. All right, so our vertical asymptote, we try to factor. Oh, we can't. And then we take the denominator equal to 0. So our vertical asymptote is quite simple. x 
equals zero. Horizontal asymptote, the degree of the numerator is two. The degree of the denominator is one and is greater than D. So there is no horizontal asymptote. So let's look at the slant asymptote. And does in fact equal D plus one. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do the dividing. Okay, let's draw it down here where it's easier. Now I don't have to do it this way. I could do it shorter, but let's just pretend we're doing long division. So I had to put in the 0x placeholder. So 3x squared divided by x is 3x. We multiply 3x times x and we subtract. Let me bring down the next thing and x goes into zero, zero times. Subtract and bring down the one and x goes, it doesn't go into one. So this is our remainder. So we ignore our remainder. And so our slant asymptote is y equals 3x plus 0, or in this case, just y equals 3x. In this particular problem, you could have split it out to be 3x plus squared plus 1 over x. You could have made it 3x squared over x plus 1 over x. So 3x plus 1 over x, that's the remainder. So it's just the 3x, y equals 3x. That's the other way you could have done it. 